Okay. So uh, uh, that's what I'm talking about today, breakout rooms in Collaborate. Uh, what are breakout rooms? They are essentially multiple simultaneous whiteboards, each with their own chat, audio, and video. Um, they can be created on the fly or in advance, and students or participants can be placed in breakout rooms or pulled back to the main room at any time. Um, the whiteboard content uh, can be moved from the main room to breakout rooms and vice versa, uh, or any part of the content can be moved back and forth between the boards. Um, what, you, what you see here is a view of what the participants window looks like once you have created some breakout rooms, and these are, um, these are public breakout rooms, named breakout rooms. Um, you see there's a couple, uh, a breakout room here and here. This one is, uh, is expanded. This one is collapsed. The collapsed one, you cannot see the participants in the room. Um, once you create a breakout room, a new button shows up in the participants room, by uh, the participants window panel. Um, and this is the room menu. Um, from there, you can do several uh, functions that uh, apply to all the rooms. And then finally, there's the room options menu where you can set some options that only affect one room at a time. Uh, why would you use breakout rooms? It seems there's about four things that I've come across. Uh, the main one is uh, small group discussions within a larger class session. Just like uh, any other, just like a live breakout session, uh, you can split people up and uh, put them in groups, have them do independent work, um, and then they can report back. Um, and we'll go a little bit into that, uh, how they can bring whiteboard content back into the main room. Uh, and then another reason is simply to give students a whiteboard of their own if they have to, if they want to work something out or perhaps demonstrate something, show it to the professor um, and without affecting the main whiteboard in, in the course. Um, then office hours is another uh, thing that people have come up with, that uh, the main room can be used as sort of a waiting room or a main discussion room where if a student has a problem that they want to talk about privately, they can go into a breakout room with a professor and talk about that without uh, you know, being overheard. And uh, the last one is uh, for per perhaps moderator private communications. Of course, moderators can chat with each other privately, but uh, this gives a full uh, you know, a full whiteboard if moderators wanted to do some more complex interactions without being viewed by the uh, main discussion. Um, creating breakout rooms is pretty simple. There's three ways. Uh, there's, there's two different types, private and public, and uh, there's a couple different, three ways to create the uh, private rooms. The private rooms are temporary. They disappear as soon as the last person leaves the room. Um, the, in, in order to create it, you simply go to the participant panel, select one or more participants, and then from the tools menu, uh, there's, there's three different things you can do. From the tools menu, you can go to breakout rooms and then go to uh, send to breakout room and then pick new private breakout room. Uh, you could also select two people. You could also select multiple people, uh, either holding down the shift key or option or control key, depending on your operating system, and then uh, right click and once again choose send to breakout room and then new private breakout room. And finally, if you just choose one person and select the uh, room options menu, you can send that person to uh, a, a breakout room or a, a, 
private breakout room. But uh, sending one person to a private breakout room, I'm not sure how useful that is. It's like putting someone in a timeout or something. But uh, if the moderator plans to join that person later, then maybe there's a reason there. Uh, now, public breakout rooms are uh, public breakout rooms are created in advance, and they're create and they can be created. Uh, uh, either from the tools menu or from the uh, participants menu. Um, if you go to the participants menu, you will see there's an option create breakout rooms. Uh, this opens up the dialog box over here, and you can name, uh, you can give the rooms a base name from there. Uh, they will be given numbers uh, depending on the number that you open. In this case, I just named the room breakout room. You can have a couple different options. Participants mm -hmm. can stay in the main room, or you could decide to move them even to distribute oh, participants in a couple different ways, either into even number groups. Uh, okay. and then you could divide them into groups of you know, a certain number, or just distribute them evenly between the rooms that are available. And then finally, include moderators uh, in distribution means that if you check that, the moderators go into the new rooms. If you uncheck it, the moderators stay in the main room. Um, now, to uh, work with breakout rooms, once you have them, um, if you went, let me say, if, if we went back to this screen and we created the two rooms, the result of this would be what you see on the next slide, and that is a participant window that has a breakout room one, breakout room two. Um, they, this is how they are automatically named. You can rename them uh, later by choosing the room options menu and then choosing rename breakout room. Um, the room options menu also has a few other functions. Uh, return to main room, uh, send people back, and I'll get into that a little bit later. And, uh, but just, you know, there's a few things that just pertain to that room that can be done from the breakout, uh, from the room button. Also, uh, once the rooms are created, the little triangles to uh, expand or collapse are created. Thank um, you. Oh, and by the way, if a private room was created, the private room cannot be renamed, but it still has a room options button and it will have all the other options available. Um, now, the um, the tools menu has one other function that you can't get to anywhere else, and that is allow participants to move themselves into breakout rooms. I think it's fairly self-explanatory. If you want people to move around from room to room, they can, um, if you check that. Now, the room, the room menu itself in the participant panel has a few functions for copying whiteboards and moving batches of participants. Uh, one of the interesting things is Collaborate remembers which room people were, which public room a participant was last in. So you can call everyone back to the main room if you have some new instructions and then send them all back to their respective rooms. Um, now, a, a little bit about whiteboard manipulations. Um, there's a few different ways you can move content from the main white or from to and from any whiteboard, whether it's uh, the main room or from one breakout room to another. You can, uh, if you simply pick a page, right-click on it, choose current page, copy to breakout room you can move this content to any breakout room or the main room if it's already in the breakout room. You can also open the page explorer and you can move, you can simply drag and drop uh, pages around or you can um, right click and uh, 
choose select pages, and then copy to breakout rooms. Uh, and that it can be useful because you can copy that content to multiple rooms at the same time. Now there's, uh, once content is in a breakout room, um, if you want to get it back to the, the main room, uh, like I, as I said before, you can, you can click on an individual page, choose copy to breakout room, send it to the main room or use the page explorer. But there's also a couple global functions. Um, and one is access, access from the room options button and that you can just take all the content from one room and send it back to the main room. Um, and then if you go to the, the room menu, uh, you can copy all whiteboards in all of the breakout rooms back to the main room. And uh, finally the last uh, thing I want to talk uh, the last thing I want to talk about is moving participants around from room to room. Uh, there's there's several different ways to do this. Um, the first is uh, the first is just drag and drop them. So you can take one or a group of students and drag them around just like the same way you can drag pages around in the page explorer. Um, you can also right click on the series of users, choose send a breakout room. Or like a, um, if you just need to send one person, you can click their options button and send them to a breakout room. And that could happen. That could be useful if you distributed your students into breakout rooms, and then a person came in late. They would go into the main room, and you may want to make sure that they get to participate in the group activity as well. Uh, now, for uh, returning users to the main room, um, you can. <coughs> you can drag and drop individual users just like you can with uh, whiteboard content but you can also get some global functions as well. You can go to an individual room, you can choose return to main room and send all those participants back to the main room or you can go to the global room, option, room button and choose return everyone to the main room. Now there's just a few things to be aware of. One is breakout rooms are not available to mobile clients. Um, breakout room activity is not recorded, which is one of the reasons why I'm not doing a demo of that today. And uh, finally, uh, if you um, uh, as I said earlier, if you do automatically assign attendees to breakout rooms, Late attendees will still arrive to the main room, so you do have to be aware of that, um, that those people could be sitting in the main room when uh, you have to be aware that people could be arriving late. Um, and, uh, I'm well, just, uh, I guess, uh, just to show everyone here, and I'm sorry for the people over uh, that may be watching this on video, if I select everyone, I can uh, send this. Michael, I think your mic is uh, muted, but uh, we're all back in the main room now. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that, did it just mute itself when I read at the end? I think it actually uh, resets it whenever you go back and forth between rooms. Yeah. Uh, no one was talking in the breakout room. Oh, uh, there's another thing to be aware of then. When you <laughs> you send yourself to a breakout room, apparently your microphone turns off. So um, uh, we're back. <laughs> Any other questions?